Hi, I am Atikur Rahman, <coughs> an AWS Certified Solutions Architect. Uh, today, I am going to uh, show you how to create a light cell uh, and set up a WordPress for there. So, let's get started. I am in my EC2 uh, dashboard or AWS EC2 dashboard. I go to services and then there is a uh, second option in compute light cell or you can just type it here. Okay, so um, here I am in the dashboard of uh, LightSet, the home page. So, uh, to give a background knowledge of what is LightSet, LightSet is a cloud platform that's, uh, that's cost effective, fast, and reliable with easy to use interface. It's very easy, so there is no difficulties to be connecting to that. Uh, instance or server so you don't have to worry about this and uh, it's ideal for simple workloads so uh, like a simple web application can be a web website or uh, maybe a wordpress e-commerce so uh, these uh, these can be uh, maybe a test or dev environment so uh, all co all kind of uh, s lightweight uh, applications can be holded inside light so um, I don't have any instance on uh, light cell, so let's create the first instance. I create instance. First important is you choose the region which is nearby. So uh, if you click here, you choose a region. It can be like uh, sorry. So it can be uh, London or Paris or Frankfurt, Mumbai, Tokyo, Seoul, Sydney, Singapore, which is nearer to your location. So if you are serving a website which is nearby Singapore, so you can choose Singapore or if it's nearby Mumbai, then you choose uh, Mumbai or uh, if you, it's nearby Europe and it's nearby Germany, you can choose Frankfurt. So uh, I try to use uh, EU West one that is Ireland. So let's try with Ireland. Okay, then we choose the instance type. So uh, I choose Linux, and then uh, there's some blueprints here. Blueprint is a predefined or pre installed package so if you want to use wordpress then you choose wordpress if you wanted to use joomla then there is a joomla package available if you want to use drupal drupal package available if you want to do magento magento package available so uh, if it's not with any predefined cms you can do custom php as well that is php 7.1 or php 5.6 also if there is no changes versions available there is uh, nginx servers available so plex hosting uh, stack also available so uh, these are lots of options available for in light cell to choose i choose wordpress because i'm going to show how to set up a wordpress inside light cell then <coughs> create a key pair that's important you wanted to connect to the instance and you need to create a key pair so please create new and uh, give a name here so i usually give the name of the current day so, so six april 2019 download key pair it's important that you only get once the option to download the key pairs so keep it in the safe place because uh, in future you won't be able to get download this key pair so it's very important to s keep in a safe place like google drive or dropbox so that you can use it on later later time choose your instance plan at this moment i will just choose the smallest one that is possible that is uh, with uh, 512 megabytes of ram and one virtual cpu 20 gigabyte of ssd so it cost me three dollar fifty cents and first month is free so 
let's select this sorry then identify your instance so give it a name my name will be prefer to use tax key value tax so project wp like say you can give the tax as you want maybe it's a there's a multiple tax option available it's a team table numbers okay so uh, we are almost done. So if I now create the instance button, a new instance will be created. Wow. So it's <coughs> it's very simple. So as you can see, it is uh, it's now creating an pending status. That means it's an uh, instance is creating, which has a WordPress predefined and pre-installed so you don't have to do anything it's all installed and in package you just need to give your passwords I will show you how to set that and uh, you can just set your domain to point this new instance and then your WordPress block is up and running so uh, it's very easy and uh, very simple okay so my instance is uh, up and running so uh, let's go to details to configure this so uh, this is my instance details you can see here AWS light cell wordpress the key name I given 512 megabytes of RAM one virtual CPU 20 gigabytes of SSD WordPress Ireland so on a yeah. then we have uh, an IP this is a private IP and this is a public IP public IP means this is the publicly accessible URL where we can use it to access our WordPress site then we have an option here to connect using SSH so uh, you have downloaded the PEM file and there is also another option here to connect the SSH using from the interface from a browser based interface that's very interesting you don't get that in EC2 it's only available here in this light cell okay so one thing I need to mention you so uh, this IP that's uh, that's not a fixed IP so if, if I stop and start again this IP will change so that is a problem if it's uh, we are going to set this WordPress to a, a uh, to my domain then I each time I stop and restart then this IP changes and I need to change my TNS records all those things so uh, there is a workaround we can go to the networking section here and we can request a fixed IP a fixed IP means whether we turn it we stop this instance and start again the IP remains same there is a static IP so let's request for a static IP so I have requested here I give a name yes. IP1 and then I click create so this will create a static IP for me which is assigned to my instance so let's go to the details of the instance now you can see I have a uh, static IP that is fixed if I stop and start it's, uh, it will not change it's important because if you wanted to point this domain to your live uh, WordPress live domain and you don't want to switch your A records continuously it's a very important thing before step start okay uh, so I now want to go to connect to that instance from the browser let's see it's connecting so uh, great it's connected 
welcome to ubuntu so it's using ubuntu 16.4.5 lts and uh, it's managed by bitnami so uh, they are managing everything over there okay so i am in the home directory let's check ls we have at bitnami application powercrimes passwords this to those stuff okay first we need to get the password so uh, the password is uh, predefined it's a random password so let's be the password get so uh, copy the name great this is the password so um, let me copy this If you wanted to copy, click this button. Okay. Copy from this. Okay. So I have copied the password of my uh, newly set up WordPress. Then I'll go to my instance, my new WordPress. I copy the uh, public IP address. Then I go to the IP. Let's see if my WordPress is up and running. It might take some time, but yeah, there you see my WordPress is up and uh, running. So uh, it's very easy, very simple, and very fast. <coughs> I go to the uh, cookie button. Where I have. Uh, copy the password so this is a user and then I paste the passwords in the new okay that's it you can see I have logged into the WordPress admin administrator where I can uh, create uh, posts modify my home page so let's check out some things here By the way, I open the cloud DNS. To point my domain to this website. TTL is one hour. Okay, I have this. Okay. So uh, if I now visit to sites and shops to let's see what happens. It will take some time to change the DNS records throughout everywhere. Um, so let's pause my video for a few minutes. 
okay i'm back uh, so my dns change is propagated and as you can see uh, i can now uh, see my website is uh, connected to the new WordPress site so <coughs> this is a very simple uh, tutorial and for creating a WordPress site is aws light cell and uh, this is a very easy interface so anyone who is new to uh, WordPress or uh, do not want to get uh, bothered with all those uh, databases to everything it's very easy you can just do some clicks and then you have uh, launched everything so I hope this tutorial helps you to get your uh, personal blog or website up and running on AWS Lightsight thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye